What's going on guys, it's Daddy Ace here, and well, people have been asking me to make content for this channel, it's usually just clips and shit that I'm making for this channel, so yeah, I'm gonna try and make something and see if you guys like it, Wolfie, I know you wanted me to make content, so this is for you, but anyway, I'm always rambling about shit in the DVD community, especially with uh, good old Giga Chad. Always talking about killer concepts and news and shit, so yeah, I might as well just do it in this video and see how it goes. Also, you'll be able to enjoy some of my beautiful clown gameplay. I'm not a clown main by any means, but I enjoyed this game, so it's just something to have while I'm rambling. Just give that paid a good slash as I get right into the news. So. Uh, earlier this week, Matthew Cote tweeted at Tony Hawk of all people and well he was asking him if asking for a friend if he could be in his well respected horror game Dead by Daylight and surprisingly Tony Hawk actually replied so <laughs> it's probably just a joke but uh Maybe we could get like some kind of skater survivor, or skater theme survivor. Could even have the likeness of Tony Hawk, but that's real far-fetched. But I mean, I guess anything's fucking possible after the Stranger Things chapter. Yeah. Personally, if I'm looking to the future, I'd like to see more monster killers, like, I don't know, the Xenomorph or Predator. But, I mean, Predator's getting his own game, so... Uh, maybe the Xenomorph. We could get the Xenomorph. Yeah, Alan Ripley as a survivor. Fuck yeah. Space themed Nostromo map. I'd be dig. I'd be fucking digging that. Now the news. Uh, the Route 66 cosmetic collection for Dwight and Wraith have just dropped. I personally bought the Wraith. Part of the Wraith outfit. That chain. <laughs> Uh, hair. It's pretty cool. It makes it, it even makes its chain noise. Didn't really like the body, but the weapon, the, the bent, uh, the bent signs and everything is pretty fucking cool. And for all you beautiful Dwight mains out there, you can have a nice little gas station outfit. Uh, looking to the future, we seem to be getting a new outfit for Ash, where he's got like a nice bomber jacket and a bionic, like, actual human looking hand instead of a robotic hand. Uh, Fang Min's getting some outfit. Well, I think it's gamer related since she is a gamer. And the Doctor's getting this really cool outfit. It's like an actual surgical scrub outfit. It's got like a tube uh, respirator hanging from his face. Real fucking cool shit. I might be... I might pick it up if it, when it comes out. And the next mid-chapter patch that's slated for DVD is going to introduce the Archives, which are the, uh, I think they're challenges essentially that you can do, like I saw an example, catch three survivors in a trap that have vaulted a window, and then you'd unlock, unlock like these nodes, kind of like the blood web, but it would lead to uh, war and rewards of some kind. I don't, I don't, I don't know, it's all very... Um, it hasn't been revealed much at all. And there's going to be charms released as well, and these were leaked in the files a long time ago. They're kind of like, I don't know, they're just trinkets that you can put on your survivor or your, all the hooks, I believe. And just a bit more bling for your uh, characters to show off. Looks like the Hallowed Blight event from last year will be carrying on to this year. They, well, I mean, they said last year that it was in the war that the entity did this yearly, so... But anyway, some names of cosmetics were leaked in the files, so we're going to try and decipher what some of these cosmetics are. So the first one's called Vigo's Marauder. I honestly have no idea who get this could be for, it just sounds like it's survivor related to me. Um, the Scorched Harvest. Again, I'm not sure. Absolutely no idea, maybe another survivor. And the next one's called The Seething Entertainer. 
This sounds like clown to me, so possibly a hallowed black clown we'll be getting. Uh, blazing lineage. That sounds like a spirit outfit to me because of all the bloodline crap that she's related to, whatever. And then Servant of the Serum. Now this is very vague as well. Uh, it could be another survivor. Maybe it could be Legion, I was thinking. Because they're just... I don't know. Just sounds something Legion-y. I could be completely wrong again. This could be like... Could be completely off. Scorched Harvest could I can be Hag for all I know, and Figo's Marauder could be Legion, who knows? But I mean we'll find out soon in Halloween, I guess. That's pretty much it for DBD news though. Uh, I'm always browsing the forums and leaks by daylight. That's a Reddit for anyone who doesn't know. Um, yeah, it's usually got information in the files or official news, I'm always trying to find it and maybe if there's anything more important to show up I will make another video on it. But uh, if you guys like this, I could probably make videos on other things, it doesn't even have to be about news, it can be about the killers or survivors if you want me to discuss their viability or killer concepts, I don't even know, whatever but I'll be happy to do it. I enjoy these gameplays and discussions. DVD is... Uh, as much as I hate on DVD sometimes, I do enjoy this game a lot, so I like talking about it. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, I guess enjoy the rest of my clown gameplay and see you in the fog.
Oh! 